Both the parties that form governments in this country do not represent the interests of ordinary people. And we're uh, fighting, we're struggling to build a movement that actually can more effectively represent represent the interests of ordinary people on the, issue, on the big issues that we face. Grassroots activism is growing steadily in force according to the modest increase in the election results. This evening at the Perth Activist Centre, political discussion between candidates and members of the Socialist Alliance Western Australia are centred around understanding the election results and perspectives for Socialist Alliance in the coming period. Can I thank the people of Western Australia for their support today, for our Liberal Party and our National Party colleagues and for the re-election of a Liberal National Government for a further four years. It's a bit hard to, to put it all together in some ways. I think the one thing is a certain level of prosperity. You know, people who are doing quite well out of the mining boom and really don't want uh, anything much to, to change or rock that boat. Uh, I think another thing has got to be uh, the lack of a substantial difference between Labor and Liberal. So although although there was definitely Metronet and that, that certainly you know put up a, a, a vision of um, you know of public transport. Uh, in terms of you know law and order, uh, mining industry, environmental protection, there's really there's really no way in which you could say that Labor stood out as a as a strong alternative. And the Liberals have a fair amount of pub um, public sort of standing already. And they do obviously throw a lot of money into their election campaigns. Um, when I was at the voting booth, like the entire street was almost was just like glad wrapped in uh, Liberal Party propaganda sort of advertising. Um, so they're not short of a penny to then be able to get their message out there in prime time television, radio, advertising that perhaps other groups aren't. One factor is the enormous mining company funding that went into their campaign. I think um, they were able to do a, just an enormous advertising blitz that someone like the Socialist Alliance who doesn't get such massive corporate funding isn't able to do. The other factor is just disaffection with federal labour. I think the fact of the matter is the Liberal Party was backed up by big business profits, big business money, uh, which meant they could spend a huge amount uh, influencing the electorate. And I think that uh, their dubious message that uh, most ordinary people in Western Australia have got something to gain out of the mining boom uh, uh, influenced some people. But um, I think that the, the result really means that ordinary people have to prepare to fight against the attacks that are coming. Described as the people-centred form of social organisation, socialism strongly promotes a humane and ecological society advocating strict adherence to democracy, the planet and the rights of all people. For, for us the task is uh, to explain our ideas, explain how they're different from the, the old Soviet Union and explain how, uh, explain to people why it is that it, it is only with a, a, a radical democratisation of the economy that we can start meeting the, the needs of the majority of the population. It would be much more democratic uh, to have a socialist government because socialists actually believe in empowering the people. Socialists believe that ordinary people should be the ones to actually uh, you know, uh, run the government um, and make, make the decisions that affect our lives. At the moment we've got too many decisions that are made by the Business Council of Australia, made by the private investment decisions of billionaires that uh, don't care about the environment, don't care about ordinary people's lives and, and you know, these people are running this, this country and this world into the ground. We know, we really stick, we know that uh, at the moment socialism isn't high on uh, many people's agenda, most people's agenda, but we certainly also know that there are there, there is a resonance for our ideas among some sections of the community and we only hope to build on that. We're happy with our results. Uh, we've actually had a modest uh, improvement from uh, admittedly our low results. Uh, we're in the process of building a platform so that uh, socialism can be taken more seriously in the electorate and we are very happy that we're able to get across our message effectively uh, to a wider audience that the mining companies need to be brought under public ownership uh, so that we can uh, use the wealth for the benefit of the majority and so we can actually fix some of the environmental problems they're creating. Um, a socialist in parliament, socialist as a government means that you know obviously that's the recognition that more and more people are waking up to that consciousness. Over, over the past few years we've secured some local council positions and ten years ago that would have been unheard of in this country. So yeah the socialist movement's growing and yeah the major parties have better watch out. Fighting the Liberals and fighting for socialism in WA, along with creating a socially just and environmentally sustainable future, are fierce tasks ahead for the Socialist Alliance. From here on in, their quest continues. I'm Melissa Gurney for Undercurrent.